Let's find the hexagon wrench first. Now we need to remove the cover plate. Remove the two fixed screws on the cover plate. Take off the cover. Open it and you can see the ink cartridge. Now we need to press the emergency stop button. Turn off the printer. We found the four color ink that comes with the printer. Match the labels of the ink with the labels of the ink tank. Pour the ink in. Now go to the head position. Check the status of the secondary cartridge. First, check if the four soft plugs on the cartridge are tight. Then check if the valve on the connected conduit is closed. Horizontal means closed, as in the video. Now find the circuit board under the cartridge. Connect this wire to this position. Now, turn on the emergency stop button again. The ink pump will automatically draw ink from the ink tank. If you hear a prompt sound and the cartridge is not full, we need to press the emergency stop button. Restart it again. The ink pump will detect and ray pump the ink. If there is no prompt and the cartridge is full, it's okay. Next, we reinstalled the baffle of the ink cartridge. Next, we found the tube connecting the ink cartridge. Find the throttle valve at the end. And put the end into a container with water. Now open the valve under the secondary cartridge to fill the conduit with ink. The purpose of this step is to remove the air in the conduit to prevent damage to the nozzle. If there are bubbles stuck in the conduit, you need to press your finger to expel them. Close the valve after draining. Then exhaust the other three conduits one by one. Check after completion. Make sure the valve is closed. Take the conduits out of the container. We found the package containing the print head. And open it. There is a print head and two cables in the package. Now take out the print head. Find the end with the yellow soft plug. Pull out the soft plug. Connect the corresponding color conduit to the end. If you can't tell the color clearly, Squeeze a little on your hand, which is easier to distinguish. Now we need to ensure the throttle valve is open. Then open the valve under the secondary mohi. Note that you must press the emergency stop switch first. Turn off the printer. Next, find the cable inside the nozzle packaging. The two cables are different. One is wide and the other is narrow. Pay attention to distinguish. The two interfaces on the nozzle correspond to the cable. The wide one is below and the narrow one is above. Connect the wide cable first. We need to hold both sides of the buckle with our fingers and lift it up hard. Then find the side of the cable with contacts and insert it up carefully and slowly. Make sure the contacts are pushed in parallel to avoid damage. After pushing it all the way in, lift the buckle up and fasten to it to ensure it 1T easily loosen. The same operation is also applied to the narrow cable. Next, we find the other end of the cable which corresponds to these two slots on the printer's binding card. The wide one is inside, and the narrow one is outside. Connect the wider cable first. First, break the black buckle apart. The blue part of the cable faces the buckle. After inserting it to the end, press down and lock the buckle. The same operation is also applied to the narrow cable. Here's how to remove the cable. We need to hold these two black areas with our fingers. Pull it outward, release it, and remove the cable. Now pick up the nozzle and break these two clips and remove the protective cover. Here is the process of installing the protective cover.
Now we need to align the protrusions on both sides of the nozzle into the reserved slots on both sides. After installation, this part is over.